well, hello. Hello, hello, guys. Hello, coach. How are you doing today? Can everyone hear me, guys? Yes. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, okay. So, uh, well, guys, thank you so much for being on time. And well, another day, something new to learn, okay? So it's really nice to see you once again. Thank you so much for being here, for attending to the class. And uh, well, today we're going to try to learn some something new because every day we're learning something new. And uh, well, I hope you had a great day that people that is working or something like that, I hope that you are like, that you had a very good day. I understand that some of you are just arriving from, from your job, probably. And uh, well, I do appreciate that you're here taking part of your time. So uh, let's start with today's class. But before we start, guys, um, I was going to ask you some questions regarding to the class that we saw yesterday. Yesterday, we saw what? What did we see the yesterday? Color, 
The colors. The colors. The Very colors. good. Yeah, colors. And uh, yesterday we saw like a variety of colors, like different vocabulary. And um, well, um, we saw also some new colors that we didn't even know that they exist. And um, let me see, let me ask you some questions before we start with today's class. Uh, is there any difference in writing when we say the word color? Is there any difference or we say, or we write it the same thing? No. What's the difference that we have? We are the letter U. Uh, and the color. Uh -huh. Where the letter U in which accent? American or British? British. British. What, um, is there, when, when we say the gray color, is there any difference with that? Yes. What's the difference? Yes. We change the letter. The, la letra A se cambia por la letra E en Inglaterra. England. Okay, very good. So, um, does any of you or have you studied the vocabulary, honestly? Have you studied? Have you studied the vocabulary, guys? Uh, to be honest, in my case now, because uh, I work uh, since 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. And I oh just have one hour. That's my lunch, right? I do like, understand. It's too different, it's too difficult, but I work with someone that, that can practice English, right? But uh, mm -hmm. it's so hard. I do understand that. And uh, well, I think that the majority of you have that or are in that situation. I do understand that some of you are working and probably you just have one hour for lunch or like 20 minutes break or something like that. Um, but well, I do appreciate the effort. Eh, se aprecia el esfuerzo, verdad? So if you have time, si tienen tiempo during the weekend and you can study, I know that probably on weekends, sé que la mayoría de ustedes quizás en los fines de semana no quiere hacer absolutely nothing, right? Like just resting, relaxing, and probably something like that. But I do encourage you uh, to try to study, guys, okay? And uh, do not give up and try to learn as much as possible, okay? So you can, you cannot miss like the opportunity to practice. So um, I was going to ask you some questions regarding to the, I mean, to the vocabulary that we saw yesterday. But with what you said, Fernando, I consider or I think the majority of your classmates are probably in the same way as you are. So I do understand that. I don't know if someone here does not work. Sorry, what was your question? No, no, no. I, I'm just saying in general that uh, I don't know if someone in this session does not work. Alguien de ustedes no trabaja or have enough time or every one of you works? Todos, right? Yo creo que todos. That's what todos I thought. Trabajo. Yeah, but well, as I was saying, um, it's important, guys, that you study as much as you can. Que puedan estudiar eh, lo más que puedan, vocabulary, or try to memorize some words, probably not all of them, because I know that you have not time, but if you can do it, I mean, that is going to help you out, okay? So guys, today is our 12th class and we are about to finish this module. See, ¿Sí? estamos a punto de terminar el módulo. We just have four more classes and that will be it. So, um, Today's class, guys, is going to be 
also a little bit of explanation in grammar and some part of the vocabulary because today's class is going to be about um, possessive pronouns and the weather. Can you see the slide or the presentation? Yes. All right, cool. So as yes. you can see there, it says possessive pronouns and the weather. We already know about personal pronouns. We already know about possessive adjectives. And now we are going to see possessive pronouns that are kind of similar to the possessive adjectives with some differences in grammar. But we are going to learn that today. And we are going to also learn some parts of the vocabulary when uh, it comes to the weather. So let's start, guys. And first of all, we are going to know or we are going to try to find out what's a possessive pronoun, first of all. Can someone help me reading the, that part? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what are processive pronouns? A possessive pronoun is one of the words, my, yours, hers, his, ours, theirs, which are used instead of a noun to show that one person or things belong to another and to avoid uh, repetition. Very good. So something very important, guys, that you need to remember is that we, most of the time, we are going to use possessive pronouns to avoid repetition, see, ¿sí? para evitar repetir lo mismo. That's why we have the possessive pronouns. And we are going to know, here we have some of them, like our, hairs. we have some of them right there, hairs, his, but here we have the main thing that I want you to focus on. Here we have this part. So here you can see the difference between a possessive adjective and a possessive pronoun. We have the sentence. I will need one, two, three, four, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I will need six volunteers. Six. Hi, teacher. Yo, yo. Luis, okay, number one, who said yo? Nidia? Yo, Nidia. Okay, yes. Nidia, number two. Me coach. I'm sorry? Who else? Any other volunteer? Bueno, como no hay más voluntarios, vea, lo vamos a hacer dedo Mi teacher. Ok. Mi who is, teacher. Who is Gabriela. Me? Gabriela, ok. Number three, Gabriela. Any other one? We got three. I need six. Still missing three. Aún me faltan tres. Ok. Ok, Ulises, four. Ok, Marisela, five. And Catherine, six. Ok. So let's go. Number one, I want you to read the first part. I want you to read like in this way. De esta forma, horizontal, see? ¿sí? First, the sentence, then the difference with the possessive adjective, and then the difference with the possessive pronoun. So please go ahead, number one. Okay. I have a cat. Mm -hmm. Possessive adjective. Mm -hmm. It's my cat. Mm -hmm. Possessive pronoun. It's mine. Okay, leave it there. Tenemos, I have a cat. Tengo un gato. Possessive adjective. Es mi gato. Possessive pronoun. Es mío. It's mine. Okay, so I will try to explain you that later on. So let's go with number two, Nidia. Okay. Um... You have a cat. You have. You have a cat. Okay. Is your cat? Mm -hmm. It's yours. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now you we have you have a cat. Tienes un gato. It's your cat. Possessive adjective. Es tu gato. Possessive pronoun. It's yours. Es tuyo. 
Yes. Number three, Gabriela. It's for cat. It's for it's ours. Very important, guys. Uh, something very, very important is that we pronounce the letter S at the end. Okay? Pronunciamos la letra S al final. That will make, well, that's the main difference that we have between a possessive adjective and possessive pronoun. So, Gabriela said, we have a cat. Tenemos un gato. It's our cat. Es nuestro gato. Es nuestro gato. Possessive es pronoun, nuestro. it's ours. Nuestro. Es nuestro. Okay, let's go, Ulises. Number four, please. They have a cat. It takes cat. It takes. Very good. They have a cat. Ellos tienen un gato. Possessive adjective, it's their cat. Es de ellos, o es su de ellos, es su gato, es suyo. De nuevo, possessive pronoun, suyo de ellos. Okay, let's go with she, Maricela. Uh, she has a cat. Mm -hmm. It's her cat. Mm -hmm. It's hers. Very good. So, she has a cat. Ella tiene un gato. It's her cat. Es su gato, pero su de ella. The possessive pronoun, it's hers, es suyo, but referring to here, refiriéndose a ella, su de ella. The last one, Catherine, thank you very much. He has a cat. Mm -hmm. It's his cat. It's his. Okay, very good. So, uh, this is pretty much the main differences that we have. Uh, when it comes to the possessive adjective and possessive pronoun. We also have some other differences that we are going to learn today. Let's move on. So here we have, um, according to, de acuerdo a lo que acabamos de ver, chicos. Let me see, um, Nidia. If, if I have, the sentence, Ben has a tent, is Benny tiene una tienda de acampar. How would you make, uh, or how would you use in the first sentence, in la primera oración, a possessive adjective, and the second one, a possessive pronoun? How would you do it? Como lo harías? Can you tell me? Okay. Um... This one right here. It, it is um, his ten. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, in number two? It, in number two so yeah, is him. It is him. Okay, leave it there. Thank you so much for your participation. Let me see. Um, Carla Flores, what do you think? Would you do, would you say something different to what Nidia say? Dirías algo diferente de lo que dijo Nidia? No, sería igual. It is his attend. Mm -hmm. And number two? Do you have any idea? No. Okay, what about you, Ulises? What do you think? Ulises? Well, I think he's not there. So, uh, Fernando, what do you think? Is I consider that um, I always get confused with those ones, but I consider that it is mm -hmm. his ten, mm -hmm. and it's him. It's him. Okay. We are going to ask the last person. Vamos a preguntarle a la última persona, Elizabeth. What do you see? What do you think, Elizabeth? 
It is, uh, do you agree? Estás de acuerdo con los que los demás dijeron? Or would you change something? Um, basado en el ejemplo que vi, sería, it is his thing. Mm -hmm. Y la otra sería, it is his Oh, uh -huh. No sé si está bien, porque se basa en el ejemplo que vi. Say it again, number two. Sería. It is his. ¿Puedo participar yo después? Yes, go ahead. It is my thing. Uh -huh. It is my. No. Ok, ok. Estamos Now... hablando de consigo, ¿verdad? Yes, we're trying to go there. We're trying to go there. So let's see. Here on the first one, porque estamos hablando de él, is, it is his tent. Que hablamos de él. Okay. And number two, estos son similares, right? ¿Cómo nos vamos a dar cuenta que uno es possessive adjective y que el otro es possessive pronoun. How would you notice? ¿Cómo alguien notaría eso? Por el complemento. For the complement? Yes. Anyone? For the what? Contraction. For the contraction. Any other opinion? Otra opinión? ¿Cómo identificaría ustedes? En, How en, would you... en una estamos diciendo esta es la tienda de él. En la otra estamos diciendo esta es suya. Excellent. We're going there. So, thank you Juan Fernando. Thank you Elizabeth. And thank you Luis. You were right. Yes. We have those details. Tenemos esos detalles que nos van a ayudar a entender when we're saying that is a Possessive adjective and a possessive pronoun. With that being said, con eso dicho, Gabriela, what do you think about this example? It is her piggy punk. Her piggy punk? It is her. Her, okay. And you said, once again, you said hair. Does anyone think that that will, that that will be different? Alguien piensa que podría ser diferente? Yes, yes. Um, What's the difference? Eh, la S, el final, it is hers. Hairs, excellent, hairs. Now, let me see, Omar, what color is this one? ¿Qué color es este? The letter, the letters. What color is this? The purple. Purple. Okay, purple. Very nice. Okay, there we have uh, those examples. Very the nice. Purple. Yes. Thank you so much for your participation, guys. Now, let's try to organize these two parts right here. Let's try to organize. Let me see. Um, Catherine, can you tell me which are the personal pronouns? Catherine? Catherine? Can you tell me which, which are the personal pronouns? No. I. We have I. <laughs> uh -huh. Alba, can you help me? Alba, are you there? Perdón, no escuché. Can you please try, uh, turn your microphones off? The microphones, please. Hola. Hola, hola. Hola. Microphones, los demás, los micrófonos. Ok. Hola. Ok, Alba. Hola, Hola, no escucho. Um, 
Okay, now we can we can hear you. Perdón, ¿cuál fue la pregunta? Can you help me about trying to find a personal pronouns? Eh, ¿Cuáles son los pronombres? The personal pronouns. Personal. Uh, he, she. Mm -hmm. um, she, he. Eh, you, uh -huh. we, uh -huh. they, uh -huh. yours, okay. Eh, uh, solo de esos me acuerdo. Eh, okay. It, 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 it. Okay. Okay, very good. Karen Rivas, can you tell me the personal pronouns as well? Personal pronoun, I'm sorry. Yes, personal pronoun. I, your. Uh huh. Um, he is. No, no, sorry. He. Mm -hmm. He and she. Mm -hmm. And her. And they. Hair and they. Okay. What about Elizabeth? What about you? Can you tell me the possessive pronouns? The one that we just saw? Possessive. Mm -hmm. um, his. His. Hair. Hair. Yours. Yours. Ours. Ours. Um, it's. It's. Theirs. Theirs. Okay. The, so, the, the, yo no hay. <laughs> Mio no hay. Okay. Um, well, I see. That we're still, thank you so much, Elizabeth. But I see that we're still having some issues, guys, with the differences between personal pronouns, possessive pronouns, and possessive adjectives. I do understand that that might be a little bit confusing. And sometimes it can be difficult to try to identify them. But it will be great if you start like trying to know the differences between they both. See, it will be nice if you start studying, okay? So um, here we have like in general, the general rules, the general explanation of this topic, see? Aquí tenemos todo, las reglas generales, the reason why we use uh, possessive pronouns, and some examples that are going to help you to understand a little bit more. Okay, so we have, and it says that a possessive pronoun replaces a possessive adjective plus a noun to avoid repeating information. That is already clear. So we have an example right here. Tenemos un ejemplo acá that says, this book is, let me try to erase this. Okay. This book is my book, not your book. Si escuchan, estamos repitiendo doblemente book. That's why it says here between parentheses. Pero esto que acá entre parentheses dice, sounds repetitive. Suena repetitivo. If I say, this book is my book, not your book. And it sounds like weird. Like, why are you saying double book? ¿Por qué decimos book do, dos veces? And there is uh, where uh, or when. Y es ahí donde vamos a utilizar los possessive pronouns para poder reemplazar un possessive adjective. So it, would, it will sound more natural. Example, this is mine, not yours. 
¿Sí? Si se fijan, acortamos la oración y siempre nos estamos refiriendo a la misma cosa. But it sounds like more natural, like you're speaking, como que si hablar inglés fluido, ¿ok? This is my book, no yours. I can say that. Yo podría decir también, this is my book. Y solo eh, reemplazar el segundo y decir, not yours. Or I can say, this book is mine, not yours. Both of them are going to be correct because, as I said, per possessive pronouns, we use them to replace a possessive adjective. We have some more examples right here, but uh, before we move on, let me ask you, is there any question at this moment? So far, so good. Okay, well. A ver si lo entendí. Sí. Mm -hmm. Yo sé que si cuando se ocupa el mine o el yours es mm -hmm. nomás solo para cortar la oración, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. No necesariamente para cortar, sino que reemplazamos y evitamos repetir lo mismo dos veces. Ah, ok, ok. Mm -hmm. Ajá, es como que para que no se oiga así como redundante ¿verdad? la palabra. Exactamente, para no ah, redundar okay. en otras okay, palabras. Ok, ya entendí. All right. So, something very important, guys. Recordemos, en los possessive pronouns, el it no existe, ¿sí? Solo tenemos mine, yours, his, hers, ours, yours, theirs. ¿Sí? Making the sound of the letter S. Hacer el sonido de la letra S al final es... Um, mandatorio. Just make the sound very clear. So, remember, we do not have eats. See, ¿Sí? acá no existe, okay? So, be really careful with that and do not confuse. No se confunda, ¿sí? See? El único, the only one that has it is a possessive adjective, okay? So, is there any question or I can move on? If there's no questions, I will be, uh, I will move on so we can continue with the with explaining. Eh, una preguntita. Es, mm -hmm. eh, bueno, the positive positive adjective. Mm -hmm. El it is sí, verdad, se ocupa. Yes. Vaya, pero en el, cuando queremos ocupar en el pronombre posesivo, ¿cuál se va a ocupar? Uh, en este caso no no utilizamos un un possessive pronoun como it. Es decir, eh, a las cosas las podemos si es un algo masculino, we are going to use his or we are going to use hers femenino. But there's, uh, no hay algo específico como acá que la utilizábamos como para animales, cosas, and things like that. So in the possessive pronoun, does that not exist? No existe. So any other question? Okay, so if there's no question, guys, let me see everyone, todos. I need everyone to work. Uh, do you all have, uh, todos tienen cuaderno o lápiz a la mano or something where you can take notes? Algo en lo que puedan tomar una nota or something like that? Yes, teacher. No. Yes, yes. Let's go. Okay, so. No, give me a second. Okay, cool. What I need you to do, guys, is that we need to find a mistake. Encontrar el error que está en estas tres oraciones. Hay un error. So I need you to try to find the mistake. Sí, que me encuentren el error. Then you can send the picture. Pueden enviar la uh, the, the picture through the WhatsApp group. Are we clear? See? ¿Sí? Estamos claros todos como el agua. You understood? Yes. Okay, go ahead. 
you got, I will give you um, three minutes the most. Veo rostro bien concentrado, vea. All right, that's good. En la segunda oración, en, en la, uh -huh. los colores de los ojos, la palabra are no sería is. ¿O oh, está correcto? Eh? That is correct. Está correcto. Es correcto. Porque, estamos porque hablando son de plural. Los dos okay. ojos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Profe, pero si realmente en esa, en esa oración es donde está el error. No, I mean, en todas hay un error. En todas. Ah, en todas. En ah, todas. Okay. So as soon as you finish, cuando termine, you send the picture, okay? Okay, so we took four minutes already. Ya nos pasamos de los tres minutos. Ya llevamos cuatro. Y apenas, bueno, no he recibido ninguno hasta el momento. En las segundas no sería my al inicio. Probably. Probablemente no le voy a decir sí o no, porque entonces le voy a ayudar a todos los compañeritos. Pero, but you're going there. Vamos a decir que está. Porque está ahí. tendría que decir mis ojos son de color azul y ahí dice míos ojos. That's a very good observation. That's very nice. I will say 50-50, 50-50. I'm not going to say like 100%, but it's 50-50. Okay. okay, we got five minutes already, guys. Ya nos llevamos cinco minutos. So if you finish or not, I just received Luis, Nidia, they are the only ones. Okay, let me check it. All right. Nidia, okay. Okay, I already got, who else, Fernando? I got Elizabeth already. What about the other ones? I got Ulysses already. I got Gabriela. Teacher. Yes. Voy manejando, no lo podré mandar. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. 
Gracias. Don't worry. Okay. All right, I got Ulysses saying that the, he couldn't do the last one. Okay, so what about the other one, guys? So let me see, uh, let me verify Elizabeth. Tell me what was the mistake for you in number one? Here, here, right, paint, paintings be, mm -hmm. better. So what's the mistake? ¿Cuál es la palabra que tiene el error? What's the mistake? Hairs. Hairs. So, sí. eh, what? Porque, mm -hmm. Sí, está hablando de una pertenencia de ella, pero tendría que estar esa palabra al final. Mm -hmm. So, entonces, ¿cuál es la respuesta correcta? Sería, but like it, eh, fighting hairs. But I what? Say it again. En, en la primera no sería porque se está repitiendo dos veces la palabra pintura. No sería ser el error. Y hay que sustituirlo como dijo usted en la primera, pero no sé por cuál. Ok, what about you, Nidia? What do you think? Um, ahí sería, bueno, la primera es his, entonces se entiende que es de él, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, but I like es, tendría que decir ahí his de nuevo para referirse a él otra vez. Paint uh -huh. Ok. Ok. What about you, Luis? What do you think? Igual, este, para mí es his. his. Porque si no me equivoco, está refiriendo sus. Sus paint. Paintings, no sé si. Uh, okay. Si let, una... let, Pero let's... sí, yo creo que es his. His. Okay. What about? Sí, porque está hablando de él. What about number two, Gabriela? What do you think? Uh, what's the mistake in number two? Hola. What's the mistake in number two? My. My. Debe ser my. My. I. Okay. Let's see. In number one, in the numero uno, dice his paintings were very colorful. Sus pinturas son, fueron muy coloridas. But I liked, me gustaron, hair paintings better. Sí. Aunque al inicio estábamos hablando de él. Él se refería y ahí cambió, pero le gustaron no las de él, sino que las de ella. Por lo tanto, era hair sin la letra S, porque con la S es que un possessive pronoun. Por lo tanto, aquí es un possessive adjective. En number two, el error era mine. Debería haber sido un possessive adjective que es my. My eyes are the color blue. What about number three, Fernando? What is the mistake over there? She. But what is the answer? Uh, I like listening to Bruno March more than Michael Jackson, but his dance moves are far more iconic. Ok, here, aquí en este caso, el he era incorrecto, era his, su de él. It says, I like listening to Bruno Mars more than Michael Jackson. Me gusta escuchar a Bruno Mars más que Michael Jackson. Pero sus movimientos de baile están más lejos de ser icónicos. So here in number three, it was his. I think that probably, probablemente los demás ahorita puedan estar un poco perdidos because I understand that this is like a little bit complicated to understand. Es un poco confuso de entenderlo. 
but um, I know that if you practice it, you will learn it and you will know how to use it. So if, is there any questions so far, guys? No questions at all? Okay, let's move on. And now we're going to the part of the weather. So it means we're going to know vocabulary. Yes, we have some vocabulary over here. And first of all, let's try to understand when, cuando hablamos de weather, nos referimos a clima. ¿Sí? When I use, cuando yo utilizo, o les llamo weather nouns, es porque yo tengo la palabra da, más el sustantivo, es decir, el clima. Si yo digo da más el noun, es igual a que yo estoy diciendo the name of the type of the weather, el nombre del tipo de clima. Example, the rain, la lluvia. So, what's the, what's the name of this weather? Rain. A esto le llamo weather nouns. Now, we also have weather adjectives, adjetivos del clima. ¿Cómo sé que va a ser un adjetivo? Porque yo tengo el pronombre personal it plus the verb be plus the adjective. ¿Cómo voy a saber qué es adjective? Generalmente porque va a llevar la letra Y al final, casi siempre. And it's going to give you a description. Le va a dar una descripción del clima. Example. It is rainy. ¿Sí? Está lluvioso. It is rainy. How is the weather? It is rainy. Está lluvioso. Then, how am I going to know? ¿Cómo voy a saber about the weather verbs? Los verbos como clima. ¿Sí? If I use, si yo tengo la fórmula, verb, pronombre personal, it, verbo to be, plus, eh, verb y el en ing es decir el tipo de clima que está pasando en el momento I will have something like tendría algo como it is raining para decir está lloviendo it is raining está lloviendo sí porque está pasando en el momento en este caso el clima está actuando no como clima sino como un verbo raining it is rainy. Is it clear? Question, guys. Siento que ahorita tienen una explosión de information. ¿sí? Explosión que no saben ni dónde agarrarse ahorita. ¿sí? A lot. So, but is there any question so far? Is claro there que cielo en este momento, profe. I know it's like, ¿por qué me metí a la clase? Right? It's too difficult. Demasiado difícil. But actually, it's not, guys. No es tan complicado, ¿sí? Yeah. Um, lo, lo único, más o menos de lo que me acuerdo bien, uh -huh. es que como para poner todo en tiempo presente, siempre va a llevar el ING. Por ejemplo, si digo, lloviendo, como dice Iba, running, tiene que decir running. Uh -huh. yes, de eso much. me puedo basar para acordarme de que es hey. un weather verbs weather verb, sí now we're going to see y aquí tenemos el vocabulario ¿verdad? as you can see como pueden ver la palabrita que está en azul que está actuando como un noun the word in red, and, I'm sorry, in orange La palabrita en orange, en naranja, es un adjective. And si la palabra está en verde, es porque es un verb with ing. And here we have the vocabulary. Cloud. Si yo digo cloud, yo estoy diciendo nube. Si yo digo cloudy, es nuboso. There, aquí podemos ver que entonces ya no es un noun, sino que es un adjective. Now, if I have flood, flood, what's this? 
Inundación. Inundación. Flood. Okay. Here we have fog. Fog. Guess we noun. Guess neblina. And if I say foggy, foggy. Entonces pasa a ser un adjective y ya es neblinado. So if I say hail, hail. Es un noun que significa granizo. But if I have hailing, hailing, uh, the translation, la traducción no tiene mucho sentido, but in English, pero en inglés sí tiene sentido. So sería en nuestro idioma granizando. But that, that doesn't make that much sense. Para nosotros tal vez no tenga mucho sentido decir está granizando, but in English, that's the way we say it, okay? So we have the hurricane, 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 huracán. We have ice, icy, lightning, lightning, rain, rainy, raining, rainbow, rainbow, snow, snowy, snow wind, storm, stormy, sun, sunny, thunder, thundery, tornado, tornado, when, when day, hit, hot, warm, warm, coolness, Cool, cold, cold, freezing. Okay, so is there any question with this part of the vocabulary, guys? Yes. Yes, what teacher, is, I have a question. What is your question? Uh, so, why uh, color blue uh, no tienen adjective ni verb in which one cuál for example flu no we cannot Tornado. say no they do not have they do not have no tienen adjective y no eh, eh, no tienen ing so i cannot say um generally generalmente van a ser utilizados más como noun Y rara, pero rara vez y tal vez... Como sí. en desastres naturales, digamos. Exactly. En okay. rara vez se van a ver con ING, a no ser que sea un lenguaje informal. Pero en lenguaje formal, like English, informal in English, inglés formal, you will never see them in that way. Ok, nunca se van a ver de esa forma. Thanks, so, teacher. Ok, let's see. Nidia, read... The first line. The first line, please. Okay. Um, cloud. Cloud. Cloudy. Cloud. Cloudy. Mm -hmm. Flood. Flood. Fog. Mm -hmm. Foggy. Mm -hmm. Hail. Hailing. Mm -hmm. Huracan. Hurricane. Hurac Hur hurricane. Hurricane. Okay, Hurricane. Omar. Omar, let's go with line number two, please. Ice. I see. Mm -hmm. Lighting. Lighting. Mm -hmm. Rain. Rain. Uh, rain. Rainy. Mm -hmm. Raining. Mm -hmm. Rainbow. 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 No. Rainbow. Rainbow. Yes. Rainbow. Yes. Snow. Snow. Snowy. Mm -hmm. Snowing. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Let me see. Maricela. Line number three. Uh, storm. Stormy, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Sun, sunny, thunder, thundering, tornado, torne tornado, tornado, wind, windy. Wendy, very good. Teresita, the last line, please. Okay. Uh, head, heat, hot, heat, mm -hmm. hot, mm -hmm. um, warm, mm -hmm. warm, okay, coolness, coolness, cool, coolness, cool, mm -hmm. cold, cold. E um, freezing. Freezing. Okay. Let me see. Um. Let me see. Um. Teacher, I'm have a question. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, What's your question? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre storm y tornado? Storm. Storm. Ajá. Storm. Uh -huh. Storm es. Storm es una tormenta. Storm in tornado is un tornado. No, 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 no. Be because if you say tornado or tornado, un tornado is that you see specifically, que se ve específicamente la, like, la cosita que va desde la uh -huh. tierra, exactly. And if you say storm, una tormenta, like the normal ones that we have in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. que tenemos okay. en Salvador. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All right. Teacher. Yes. En el último es freezing. Freezing es congelado. Pero este es un adjetivo. Yes. Eh, but, eh, parece un verb, verb, verb I know, I know. Y es ahí donde, donde empiezan a haber un montón de dudas because English, um, en inglés hay algunas cosas que llevan, que son excepciones, eh, que llevan ING y nos podemos confundir y podemos decir, ok, lleva ING, entonces es un verb ING. Pero en este caso, freezing, Es una excepción y aunque lleva ING, nunca es tomado como verbo, sino que como un adjetivo. Pero existen ocasiones en lenguaje informal en donde podría ser utilizado como verb ING. Mm -hmm. Solamente. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's... Like, demasiada información para un solo día, ¿verdad? I know it's too much for today. And I completely understand, guys, that some of you might be lost. Algunos de ustedes pueden estar perdidos en este momento. But do not give up, okay? So, solo tratar de estudiar, practice, que es a veces lo que menos tenemos, ¿verdad? El tiempo nos consume. But... Um, as long as we are, tanto como vayamos avanzando en los módulos, todas sus dudas se van a ir despejando. And then at the end, you are going to like, van a entender de dónde venía esto. Ah, ahora entiendo por qué usaba esto. Ahora entiendo por qué esto y lo otro. Just, uh, por el momento estamos en basic, ok? Estamos en básico. I understand that some of you like, uh, ya pueden tener un poquito más de conocimiento, pero es importante que sepamos todas las cosas, el por qué, and things like that. So, but is there any other question, guys? ¿Alguna otra pregunta, duda? No? Igual que, bueno, yo tengo también otra. Mm -hmm. Igual que Freeze. Es igual que lighting. I'm sorry, what, which one, cuál? El lighting. Mm -hmm. Lightning. Es, eh, que tú ocupa el NG, pero está uh -huh. con color celeste. Exactly. In that, en ese significa rayo. Esto, aunque uh -huh. tiene ING, no significa que sea un verb with ING, ¿sí? Sino que son palabras, eh, le llamamos... Eh, 
slangs, ¿sí? Ya son palabras. Sí, yo, eso es como que sí. Como que sí. Ah, eso le iba a decir. Como que si ya están. Sí. Que por ley se escriben así. Exactly. Son eh, cosas de grammar. Cosas, eh, hay veces de fonética para que la palabra funcione bien. Phonetic, grammar. Y son palabras que ya están por en sí por gramática. Sí, gramaticalmente. So, if there's no questions, I will move on. And there we have the seasons of the year. Las estaciones del año. Season of the years. Okay, we have winter. What's winter? What Invierno. do you think? Invierno. Spring. Primavera. Primavera. Summer. Verano. Verano. Otoño tenemos Otoño. dos Otoño. formas de decir. Podemos decir autumn or we can say fall. Autumn and fall. So both of them are correct. Las dos son correctas. But most of the time, la mayoría de ocasiones, las personas en lenguaje informal prefieren utilizar fall en vez de utilizar autumn. Pero en lenguaje formal, la palabra utilizada para la season es autumn. ¿Ok? Remember, these ones right here are the seasons of the year. Las estaciones del año. Winter, spring, summer, autumn, fall. So I want to listen everyone saying those. We are going to start by Omar. Hello. Hello, Omar. So pronounce them. Um, winter? Mm -hmm. Spring? Uh -huh. Summer mm -hmm. and autumn. Autumn. Yes. And fall. And fall. Okay. Gabriela. Okay. Winter, mm -hmm. spring, summer, autumn. Mm -hmm. I think that you're having uh, problems with the connection. Okay, thank you so much, Gabriela. Go ahead, Teresita. Winter, spring, summer, autumn, or fall. Fall, very good. Elizabeth. Hi. Winter, spring, Summer, autumn, 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 mm -hmm. fall. Very good. Uh, it's, yes. Nuestro, nuestro invierno no es de nieve, sin embargo, se diría de la misma manera. Yes. Even though, aunque nosotros no tenemos invierno de nieve, but we are going to always call it winter. Siempre le vamos a llamar winter, aunque no tengamos primavera. Siempre le vamos a decir spring, eh, aunque no tengamos autumn. We're going to always call it autumn. Y aunque en verano, aquí en nuestro país llueva, siempre le vamos a llamar summer. Okay? So it really doesn't matter. No importa si en realidad tenemos todo lo opuesto from the states. But we are going to always call the name that way. Siempre lo vamos a llamar de esa manera. So, Nidia, go ahead. Okay. Um, winter, mm -hmm. spring, summer, autumn, or fall? Fall. Fall. Maricela. Winter, spring, summer, Autumn, fall. Karen Rivas. Winter, spring, mm -hmm. summer, autumn. Carla Flores. Winter, spring, summer, autumn, and fall. Very good. Catherine Reyes. 
winter, spring, summer, autumn, and fall. Very good. And Luis? Winter, spring, summer, autumn, or fall. And the last one, Juan Fernandez, no, he, okay, yes, he's there, okay, Juan. Winter, spring, summer, autumn, fall. Okay, guys, we are going to finish with that because of the time, it is 9.02 already. I didn't even feel the time. So um, I had some exercises for you guys, but I understand that some of you might be working or you have no time to make those exercises, but I will still send you the presentation through the WhatsApp group today after the class. So you can have this vocabulary and only if you want to work on the exercises for practice, you can do it. If you do not want to practice, that's up to you. Eso depende de ustedes, okay? So los ejercicios que están ahí pueden practicarlos o no. Eso depende de ustedes, okay? That's going to be just for you to practice, para recordar, para practicar, and things like that, okay? So um, this is going to be all for today, guys. Um, I know that some of you haven't complete. Eh, algunos de ustedes todavía en la calibración aprecia que no habían terminado hasta donde se pedía, pero eh, todavía tienen tiempo, chicos. Sí, you still have time. Uh, try to complete that as soon as possible, uh, tan pronto como le sea posible, para que no tenga ningún, uh, any situation at the end of the module, okay? So if you have questions, si tienen preguntas, always ask the questions. Siempre hagan preguntas, okay? Este, okay, si fíjate con respecto a la plataforma, uh -huh. yo tengo una pregunta en uno de los exámenes. Uh -huh. los sonidos, yo creo que hacía en el comentario hace unos par de días y no le hallé yo realmente a un, bueno, a varios sonidos que decía ahí el audio este, no los pude encontrar, no pude resolver eso porque si sí, ya llevo varios días en esa misma en esa misma prueba uh -huh. pero no le hallo a los sonidos que tira okay. de la, la. So, eh, voy a mandar si quiere la, la foto, la imagen y la, de qué sección es Yes, please. Yeah, sure, sure, no problem. So after the class, you can send me that, the, the number of the exercise, and I can help you with, with that information, okay? So don't worry about it. So if there's nothing else, guys, thank you so much for attending to the class. So see you tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, okay? Have a good night, everyone. Good, Good night, night. Bye. Bye, Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. Take care. Goodbye, Bye. teacher.